Hey, howdy ho, neighbor. Just going to give you a short tour of uh, things I've gotten done already. Uh, as you can see, there's my strawberries. And a very big strawberry bed, but it'll do for what we need. You know, nothing like coming out and getting a fresh strawberry in the morning. And of course, here's my Brussels sprouts. They're doing excellent. They're coming up just perfect. And over here, this uh, raised bed, as you can see, I put in um, table onions. And they're just starting to come up. And I'm going to use them for seed. That way, then I can fill up this whole bed. Uh, this winter and then I will sit there all winter and of course I'll have a nice bunch of onions come next spring anyways in the meantime in between them two stakes right here and right in here I have spinach scattered in there and of course I will thin that out as I I go along and we'll be having fresh spinach right in here I have lettuce and of course I'll be thin I just spread it out and I'll be thinning that out and then we will be having fresh lettuce so what do you think of that folks so they got my uh, the uh, soil in my garden was darn clay that I've been uh, kind of refurbishing it and uh, there's two boxes I'm, I made and I'm going to uh, set up. Here, I'm just about got this one filled. And I'm going to put in carrots in this. This is a 3x3. Three three. Right next to it, of course, there's, there's a 4x4. Four four, and I have zucchini planted in there. Yes. So... I will have zucchini in there. That, that's uh, we love zucchini. And of course, if we take ourselves a walk back through here, here's that long garden I had in the back. Here, that is where I'm going to put my all-natural tomatoes. I'm using no cages. I'm not stringing up nothing. And I will show you when I, after I get them all planted, how that'll be. Okay. And of course, I got some onion sets from a friend of mine. Uh, red onions. So I just plopped them right in there. Just, uh, and they're coming along pretty good. I had no place else to put them, so that's where they went. And of course, those buckets there by the worm, uh, bed I'm going to put in that one there I'm going to put in cucumbers and I'm just gonna let them tell us right up the fence I'm also going to do the same with that one and the one in the right over there I am going to put in some acorn squash yeah and let that just tell us over the top and of course my herb garden I have my oregano my bush basil thyme and rosemary and of course over there I have my uh, parsley over here I have my cilantro over here I have my garlic chives I planted from seed and right there my regular chives and of course I bet you you're wondering what that big hole is for well I'm in that sunflower contest and I decided I was gonna sunflowers need a lot of food of course this is clay clay has a lot of nutrients in it which is okay I'm gonna add more nutrients because them sunflowers need <coughs> A lot of feet, yes. 
And of course, over there is my other buckets. One I'm going to put in uh, some uh, horseradish. Another one I'll put in a different tomato. And of course, my buckets. See my buckets? I haven't got my buckets started yet. I uh, purchased some manure and some uh, whatever you uh, some uh, cow manure for my buckets so I can mix in with uh, my other stuff and that is uh, for Judy's flowers or whatever she's doing but uh, yeah so that kind of gives you uh, and of course the grill the wheelbarrow. Boy, I got a good buy on that. Where's my compost pile? You can see I'm adding grass to it already. Yep. And of course, look at that. Yeah, so there's a little walk around. Uh, hope you're happy. Uh, I'm happy with the results so far. I'm out here all the time, kind of just farting around. Got the big gardens up by the family farm done. All that stuff is all planted. I ain't got to worry about that. So now I just get to kick back in my own little yard. My own little world here. And enjoy myself. Hey, with that in mind, you all take care. God bless. And happy gardening. Thank you.